My name is Steve Groff. I'm from southeastern Pennsylvania, and I farm about 225 acres. Uh, corn, soybeans, small grains, a lot of that's involved with cover crop research, but also have uh, 30 acres of pumpkins and two acres of high tunnel tomatoes that I grow that are their heirloom type tomatoes. I plant cover crops on 100% of my acres. Even if it's very late in the year, I'm going to plant them to get them in. And I do all kinds of strategies in order to make that happen. So in the context of cover cropping, I like to say that I treat my cover crops like my cash crops. So they're very, very important. And uh, there's just many ways that I use them from interseeding uh, to, uh, to planting short season hybrids to get them planted earlier and so forth. So there's many ways that I use them on the field operations. Uh, I use the radishes, I use crimson clover, hairy vetch, triticale, cereal rye, annual ryegrass, oats, to name a few. I started using cover crops in the early 80s simply for erosion control. That's the only thing I did. I didn't even know there was other benefits. And after I started using them, I started seeing, noticing, observing so many other things. We can actually use uh, legumes to produce some nitrogen. We can use radishes to hold nitrogen over till the next year. Um, we can, some areas of the country, they're using them for wind erosion. We don't have too much of a problem around here with that, but that's a big deal in some parts of the country. So just overall soil health, getting more earthworms, more organic matter, being able to hold soil moisture longer when it gets drier in the summer, if you have a residue on the surface. Many things that I've discovered that cover crops use. If you're starting out with cover crops, first of all, before you buy a bag of seed, educate yourself. Cover crops are a simple concept, but they're very complex to be able to grow them effectively and make them pay. So educate yourself, try to adapt what you learn to your specific operation. And then to think, what are you trying to accomplish? And list those things out in your mind. Then, what is your planting window? What time of year is it? What species are ideal for that time? Talk to your neighbors, talk to people in your general area that are using cover crops. And then, maybe most importantly, make a commitment to try to make it work. And that involves that education I talked about originally. So, if you do those things, good chance of success.